Yo so, my name is Shirei, and today we're going to break down the kills in Full Metal Alchemist, The Revenge of Scar, released in the spring of 2022. Today is special because this is the first live action Japanese movie I'm covering in this channel. Well, technically, because in the past, I've covered multiple live action Japanese movies, but in the new version of my channel, this is the first. This movie is about Scar's revenge. The title is self-explanatory. Just like in the anime, Scar utterly despised Amesterians for they've almost drove his skin into extinction. To be completely honest, this is the first time I've heard that there's a live action movie based from the best anime there is. Now let's hope this movie is good just like the anime and count the kills. エドワード。エルリック。鋼の錬金術師。あの銃撃。18 people died in Full Metal Alchemist The Revenge of Scar. 14 of them were males, 2 were females, and 2 undetermined genders. With a runtime of 125 minutes, the kill on average is 6.94 minutes. I'll give the King Katana to the first kill. It's the only kill that stands out from the rest of the kills, and I think the CGI is quite good on this scene. The Shabby Kunai will go to Winry's parents, whom were both killed off screen by Scar. Plus, it's rather tragic that they died for being good Samaritans. That concludes Full Metal Alchemist The Revenge of Scar Kill Count. Yeah, just your typical Japanese live action movie. The acting is Japanese, and I can't say that this movie is bad nor good, but it's in between. I don't like the CGI used in this film because, well, it's too shitty. But the portrayal of the characters is quite on point. That is all. Sayonara.